Hi, I'm Dr. Sands with Healing Post Veterinary Care, and I have my friend here, Rudy, to talk about a way you can brush your cat's teeth without a toothbrush. A couple things you want to make sure you have. I like to sit on a couch or a chair where I normally sit with my cat at home so it feels comfortable. Put them in, putting them on a table or a counter can make them feel like they're somewhere they shouldn't be. I also always have a nice thick towel on my lap just in case they dig their claws in, but also it's comfy for them. So I have Leo here sitting with me and I've already prepared a plate with the toothpaste on it. So I don't have the toothpaste tube. I have about a marble sized amount of toothpaste on the plate. You can have a child's washcloth or a gauze will be one way I'll show you. And then uh, these are long handled Q-tips or cotton swabs. I like the long handled ones, but you can absolutely use regular Q-tips as well. So what I'm going to do for Leo is I'm going to use the cotton swab and I'm going to dip it into that marble sized amount of toothpaste. Think of this like a toothbrush or a paintbrush. I have Leo backed up to me. Pardon me, this is Rudy. I have Rudy backed up to me. His brother is Leo. I have Rudy backed up to me and I have my arms like a triangle. So my wrist to the elbow is in contact with his body. And now I can gently place his head in my hand. I'm coming from behind. So Jess, can you move the camera over to the side? So his head is laying in my hand and now I'm going to roll my hand on top and lift his lip and I'm going to take this Q-tip like a paintbrush and just paint it there. What a good boy. And paint it there. This is enzymatic toothpaste so it will do the scrubbing and then I'm going to let his head down and let him lick. What a good boy. I'm going to get another small amount on my Q-tip and you can also come from below with your hand. So I'm kind of resting his chin on my hand. I'm not even looking, I'm just using my finger to lift up that lip. Now I'm gonna slide down in there and paint it. Good boy, this is his sensitive side. But you see how I'm just laying that toothpaste in on his gum? Enzymatic toothpaste will do the scrubbing for you. But most cats like a Q-tip because it's a much smaller uh, size and doesn't feel so awkward in their mouth. Good boy. Since Rudy's being so good, I'm also going to show you what I would do with a soft cotton gauze or a thin baby washcloth. Is That gives you a little more scrubbing action. <laughs> He's like, what is that? I'm going to wrap it on my finger. I'm going to dip it in that toothpaste. Again, I'm just coming. It's okay, buddy. Coming over his head. My arms have been holding him in a hug the whole time. Now I'm going to use my finger and now I can do a little bit more of a scrub. Good boy. Let him swallow. Good boy. Now this is his sore side. But again, I'm just rubbing back. I can actually feel his teeth and gums this way and I can know I'm hitting the very back ones. Just rubbing in there. And you see, I even got a little bit of blood. That doesn't mean I hurt him. That means his gums are inflamed and I actually stimulated them. So this works really nicely. So a Q-tip or a thin baby washcloth that you can get at your local big box store or pharmacy and a little bit of time is all it should take. I hope this helped you and you're gonna do a great job brushing your kitty's teeth. Enjoy your kitty.